Hi guys, welcome back. I'm your host Craig and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the gun locker. I didn't really make a new video on how to do this. I did it in one take, which was great. And I did, well, I did this very late at night, so forgive me about my grogginess at the moment and my bit of uh, rambling to go on. Because, oh well, it's about 2am right now, so... Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, there we go. Right. Anyway. Uh. Right. The, this is the basically me testing out, what, like putting like a proper backing to it. So this is kind of a little bit of the updated version of it. You'll see everything I do in the video precisely as well, and how it works. It uses primarily. It does use a few mods to get the shelving units. So that's the USO mod, and there's the static item mod as well, which is absolutely fantastic. It's kind of like the USO mod, but you'll see now why I use it more than the USO mod, depending on certain things, like i.e. stacking my weapon and making sure that if I let a follower in here, they won't knock them all down. So, alright, let's get this started, shall we? See here, I'm actually going for a two cabinet kind of design here. So, basically, uh, my big idea is to have these as a wall. So I'll have a wall of these with different firearms in them, some submachine guns to smaller assault rifles to larger ones, sniper rifles, all that kind of jazz, and even armor racks as well. You can turn these into armor racks as well if you want. And I'll, I'll come up to the uh, part about static mod in a moment, so you'll be able to get your hands on that and have a lovely time with it. But anyway, let's continue. So, here we go. Uh, as you see here, I'm actually having a bit of trouble with putting the last bit of the puzzle here. I could turn it around and try to make it fit in, but I'm going to use something magical by the Andrew CX mod, the USO mod, the Unlock Settlement Object mod. So, we're going to go out, leave this here. Oh, I, I don't do that just yet. I actually try to put it in the wall still, while with the mat. It is 2 a.m., people, so you're going to have to give me the benefit of the doubt of being very tired doing this. So, let's go through this, not the shelves I'm looking for, I'm looking for the invisible mats which are absolutely fantastic and uh, they make every little settlement look a bit better now since you don't have to actually sink everything into the ground thankfully or make it rise up an awful amount so we're going to try and even this out with the wall now so let's see, get in there and uh, yeah, actually regarding this build right now I'm actually quite pleased how this looks, it's very wastelander like so it's not like uh, since I'm on the PS4 and stuff like that, yes, people, I'm on the PS4. A lot of people are thinking I downloaded a, this this actual locker as a mod itself, but no, I don't. It's not a mod, unfortunately. Oh, it might be one day. You never know. But anyway, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, right. What do I need now? I need. Uh, I forgot what I was looking for. I, I like during the video I forgot what I was looking for and I was looking through shelving and stuff like that for some reason but no I actually forgot what I was looking for right now and uh, there we go more displays there we go uh, regarding the little pokey bits at the end there you can literally like um, rug something rug glitch something into the corner there something long enough there to actually cover that up of course uh, I would always recommend decorating whatever shelf you're going to put next to it so it actually covers it or you're going to use like a bookshelf or something like that so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to look at like different kind of wall sidings. I did want to use the metal ones. I thought it'd be interesting, but no, I kind of want to keep to the wooden ones that I used in the last video because it just gives it a bit of class. So we just need two of these, and we need those uh, rugs again. You can use actually the normal rugs as well, but I just used the glitched ones for some daft reason, but I'm actually going to give it the concrete pillar glitch a go as well during this. I don't know why I'm looking in wood again, but uh, let's see, go back out here, here we go, see, I don't know why I was trying to attach it there, I'm absolutely knackered by the way, so forgive me, and um, right, let's see, now I'm just making sure that will work, just put two there, because I always have the tendency of deleting one of them, and then have to go into the menu again, so I always put leave one extra pillar out next to me, because I always delete one, just because I think I'm finished with it, and I realize, damn, I'm not. I forgot to pick it up and bring it over to the next part. So we're going to grab one of these invisible mats. As I said before, you can use a normal mat as well, because this will be going on the ground, so it won't matter at the end of the day. So let's grab this. Let's give it a bit more on the corner there. That's perfect. Now we're going to grab the pillar, which I'm making sure it's only like just that much into the ground, not too heavy. There we go. Nope, there we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, now... As you see here, I can now bring the wall in. So I'm using the, uh, I'm putting this into where walls where they wouldn't stick out of. So it's always good to have them on the far end of a room. 
and just never really sticking out of the walls. I don't know about in your own player settlements, but inside of buildings that you're refurbishing, these are best to go for. And especially for the castle, because the, ar the, the, the armory in the castle is not too great. It looks nice, like, for the first five minutes, but then you're like, oh, they could have done a lot more with this. So hopefully we'll actually see some, like, maybe in the next follow game or something like that, if they give us, like, settlements again, we'll actually see proper gun lockers. You see, I did it. I deleted it thinking I was done, but I'm not. See, I'm a genius for leaving that extra one out. I was actually looking for it, and then I realized, oh, I have one over there. That's grand. Uh, right, let's get the next one on there, shall we? So we'll put on the opposite end there. This is just for my, like, sanity's sake, just so it doesn't actually mess up during this video. And, uh, alright, let's do this. Let's bring you back up a bit. Up, down, up, down. Yep, there we go. Right now I get very, like, uh, perfectionist at the moment, just to make that pillar straight. There we go. Nice and straight. And so we're going to do this. Since I actually can do this now, which I didn't realize, I always forget to do this when I'm building, is to actually look at it from the side and bring it in how much it needs to go. But I was actually pretty chuffed with that. And there we go. That's in there. Now, we have the basic of the... Um, most of it done. So we're actually going to show you how I put the weapons in. So first I'll do it without mods, which I, I usually did it with my rifle rack videos. That wonderful little video that I did about nine months ago. Ten months ago now? I don't know. I can't remember, guys. <laughs> a video so long ago. And, uh, yeah, and that's when it was only at, like, a couple of hundred people as well. Like, I think 200 people, and now we're up to 5,000, so... Hopefully we'll get many, many more. And, right, let's see. Let's have a look. What am I looking for? I actually forgot what I was looking for in the video as well. Ah, doors. That's right. See, I went through all the doors and see what kind of door types I could use, but I, I like the cell doors the most. I actually got a little bit, like, whimsical here and thought, hmm, this might look nice if it swings open. But then I saw this. That would be nice if it didn't do that. No. If it swung open, that would be nice. But no. no. <laughs> Alright, loading back into the D menu now. And let's see, shall we? Uh, Alright, let's see. Get rid of this. Leave that there. Go through the door list again. This would look interesting on it, but I kind of want to see what I'm stacking in there. So, I'm going to put the doors on first. See here? This is the idea. It's the swinging door. I would use the slide, but it would go over the other doors and ruin the whole, like, idea that it's a locker and not a magical... Uh, shelving unit turned into a locker <laughs> using magic uh but now i get the did you see here as i just i just do it here right doesn't matter which mat you use you can use it in vanilla or modded version as well um we're gonna pop this through here and go over here and get the concrete pillar apologies i'm yawning it is 2 a.m so i've actually been doing i did two videos tonight so this one and another one coming out later on tomorrow hopefully so this one will be out a certain time i think so you lovely lovely people can get a look at it all right here we go let's get this where it needs to be You know, actually, in the long term of things, this doesn't have to be just a, a gun's locker. It can actually be a medicine cabinet or a pharmacy supply or generally just anything that you want to keep valuable and safe, I guess. See, that annoys me all the time. I really should do it on the other side when I want to put the door on properly. So it's actually in properly and not sticking out at the sides, but it won't matter because I, this is not the final version. I didn't save this version, so... I'll be rebuilding the gun locker that I have actually saved now, later on tomorrow, and hopefully have the entire armory built so you lovely, lovely people can get a look at it. And, uh, right, let's see. Let's go over here and get this to work. That's fine. No, I don't want to get rid of that because that will annoy me. And then we're going to bring in the other gate here. Let's see. Alright, come on. I don't want it to stick in through the, uh... Actually, that, that would kind of make sense if it was sticking through the shelf a bit, so it looks like the 
it's actually locked in on different levels of course before you do this on all the shelves if you want to you can stack up the shelves first and then do all this but just really depends you don't actually have to have doors on them as well for the non mod users so you can just have a perfect place to store your stuff and even hang some of the pistols on some of the uh small weapon racks if you do have the dlc so you won't have to worry yourself too much about stacking them the way i do too much so uh, of course i'll show you how to stack them in vanilla as well i actually have another video about how to stack them and the original rifle rack video explaining the controls on ps4 but I'm pretty sure they're similar to the ones on xbox one so you just check those out guys and you'll be able to actually do it so there we go all done there we go now i'm just going to pop in a gun in there just normal way i usually used to do it at least and there we go just gonna open them all up ah that's beautiful things like this just just make you really happy this won't pick up off the floor for some reason so i'm just gonna take it and drop it out of my inventory so let's go into the inventory as you saw there there's the current mod i'm going to be using which is the uh make stat make static mod basically and makes a certain items weapons uh appear appar apparel miscellaneous junk and stuff like that a static item in your settlement so it's actually the perfect thing to use i'm just going to use the axis control here to swap around the uh the basic idea so this is basically how you do it without the mod you can just pop it in there at a certain point but there's that horrible shake so i'm going to pick that up again leave it down make it pressing square making it uh, marked for a static item and now we're actually going to properly put it in here because it would annoy me if it's not on the wall properly i've said properly way too many times in one sentence so anyway now here we go and i'm going to show you how to use this mod as well once you click the square on the item when you're hold when you're looking at it then pick it up you'll be able to hold it there and uh just the regarding that you just put it in at a certain height so just put it up a little bit above it and then go into your miscellaneous menu and click on make static item so it makes it static and it will never fall down unless you want to pick it up you can take it the way you want it you can take it away by pressing x and it won't be a static item anymore so yeah that's pretty much the video guys and yeah these are some nice looking weapon lockers if i do say so myself so anyway guys i really really hope you enjoyed the video i've been your host as always you know hit that like button down below share the video around because i like to have more people enjoying this kind of stuff and who like building this kind of thing so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time on rtc see you guys have a good one